Hey everyone, this is Tony Reeves, and let's have another talk about Voting Practices 101. Make sure you take time to review the topics and not just the candidates. Let me just tell you, a lot of times you'll get these ballots and you'll see these wild things that you've never seen before. They may be local ordinances, city or county ordinances. It may be a constitutional amendment that's on the book. It may be something about uh, discussion of particular types of, of extensions of, for the judges in terms of how long they can sit on the bench. Whatever the case may be, there's always things on these that are different and apart from just merely voting for an individual. So you need to start researching in advance why. And you're saying, well, why? Because how many of you have been in a polling booth and all of a sudden you looked at it and this is the first time you've seen it and there's this like two or three paragraph long thing asking you, do you vote for this or not? And some people, I ain't gonna lie, some of y'all probably just go ahead and say, no, yes or no, without reading it and then realizing later, that's what I voted for? Pay attention, start getting that in ahead of time. So why do I say this? Read, read, read. Read it early because you don't wanna be in a polling booth trying to rush through reading something and then trying to comprehend it if it's using language or words you've never seen before. So start reading it in advance so this way you can condition yourself to know what it is you're gonna be voting on and the impact of that. And you wanna do it in a time period where it's easier for you. Do it a couple of days in advance if you can. A lot of times when they're sending you, they'll send you stuff and tell you this is what's on the ballot. So this way you know when you're reading it, if you see a word you don't recognize or if a phrase doesn't quite make sense or if something you see here has a, that you think you think it means something and you wanna ask somebody, trust me, when you're standing there in the poll, you're not gonna be able, standing at the polling booth, you're not gonna be able to say, hold on for a second, hold this, I got to go call my friend and be like, yo, check it, explain to me what this means. No, you're not gonna have that luxury. So focus on this now. Take the opportunity, read in advance. If you don't understand what you're looking at, Ask somebody. One of the reasons why I want you to look at this stuff in advance is because the number of times people read stuff and it's like, that doesn't make sense. And, you know, my wife used to joke with me all the time because she would read stuff. She's really good about reading stuff. And I used to be notorious about taking stuff and putting this out, I'll read it the day I go in there. But she would take the time and she'd go down the line and she said, Anthony, what does this mean? Does this mean this, this, this? And I'm like, hold on. And sometimes the, the number of times she would say something to me and I would look at it at first glance, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't think that's what that means. And then I would go research it. I'd have to break out different things. Okay, this is what I think it means, and this is the impact I think it means. And I think this is why. And then she would say, okay, why should I vote for it? Why should I vote against it? I said, okay, well, if you vote for it, this is what I think will end up happening. If you vote against it, this is what I think about how it's gonna happen. Okay, now I know. She took advantage of two things, reading in advance, which I've said before, and two, talking to somebody, not that I know everything, but she knows that as when I used to practice law, as a practicing attorney, I had access to different databases, I can research case law about different things. If something was weird, she wasn't gonna sit there and sign off on it just because, well, maybe that's what it means. No, no, she wanted to know, what does that phrase mean? What does that word mean? And I would look it up and I'm like, what does that mean in a legal context? And I was like, this is why they're doing this. And then we could talk about the history behind it. So that's why it's important. Start finding people. If you can't find anybody, listen, real talk and this is a great time to use social media in that particular context find somebody you trust